According to Carfax, there are more than 44,000 vehicles with recall Takata airbags currently on the road in the St. Louis area. Contact 2's Mike Colombo continues his reporting on this life threatening safety issues that can be solved with a simple fix new at 9. 10 years ago, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration ordered a full recall of Takata airbags. Carfax editor in chief Patrick Olson says a staggering amount of vehicles with these dangerous airbags are still being driven today. There's still 6.4 million cars on U.S. roads that need these airbags replaced. Olson tells us extended exposure to heat and humidity can cause Takata airbag inflators to deploy far more explosively than expected. Some of these cars are 20 years old and you have to think that every summer that goes by is just adding to and compounding the risk for that airbag to go off. That in turn turns that metal band around the airbag into shrapnel, literally flying pieces of metal that get into the cabin. It's Laurie with Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Safety Recall Team. In late April, we followed Lori Harshi around St. Louis as she tried tracking down owners of recalled vehicles. While Harshi's work is focused on Stellantis brands, vehicles from nearly 20 other automakers are part of this recall. The problem airbags are responsible for killing more than two dozen people in the U.S. and injuring more than 400. Oh, we just don't want anybody else hurt. We don't want to see any more deaths. So we're out there trying to find these vehicles and get them their free repair. Um, we do have a mobile tech that comes on site. We will go to them to fix the vehicle and everything is free. You know, the repair takes less than an hour. But Harshi told us she and her colleagues are often accused of being scammers. We are having the darndest time with people opening their doors to us. We see the vehicle in the parking lot. We can actually sometimes see the people inside the house watching us and they will not open their doors. They, they think we're some sort of scam. As Harshi shared with us and Patrick Olson confirmed, Younger drivers are now being exposed to the danger these vehicles possess. A lot of these cars are in the hands of teenage drivers, younger drivers, because they're the more affordable cars to get into. For more information on the recall and how to get your car fixed for free if it's part of the recall, look for this story on fox2now.com. Mike Colombo, Fox 2 News. Well,